You've probably seen the dirt cake recipe that has Oreos and pudding layered in a flower pot with a flower on top. Well, Daisy King has a different idea for a flower pot dessert, a more grown up version with completely different ingredients. And this sounds delicious. Right. It's got semi sweet shaved chocolate on top, which mm -hmm. actually reminds me of mulch once we put it together. It looks like these that, flower it? pots. Yeah, but this has wonderful cake in it and cherry right. vanilla ice cream. Let's start out with the cherry vanilla ice cream okay. and pour about half of that into the bowl, which is about a quart. This is a half gallon. And then we're going to mix with it about a fourth of a cup, a couple of ounces of dark rum. Okay. And as uh, you stir this, you're going to think, well, it's going to be too liquidy, but it's not. It works. And then we're going to layer this with our cake. And okay. while Meryl's stirring that, let me tell you a little bit about the recipe says you can use a pound cake or an angel food cake, mm -hmm. whichever you like, or you can do Miss Daisy's five flavor pound cake. And these recipes, of course, are in the little yellow cookbook. So I chose the five flavor pound cake, but I left the rum extract out oh, okay. because I'm going to pour some real rum over it as I layer it in the pot. So you see our cute little, this is the four inch plus pot. And you sterilize and those in the dishwasher, right? Sterilize those. And we want to start out in the bottom and add our cake so it will be a liner so that the ice cream does not melt all the way through. And as soon as we finish this, or you finish it at home, then you can put it right back in your freezer until you're ready to serve. Okay, now Meryl, I've, done, I've done this. Yes, now you put some of the... Uh, Cherry vanilla ice cream with the rum in it. And you yeah. don't have to use real rum. You may use rum extra. Okay. That's fine. And then we want, and you may layer this, or as we've done, we've done huge servings. I think I'll add a little more cake. Okay. Because, you know, we are going to, when I bring things in, we have to eat. And I told the staff <laughs> yes, <we> early, <laughs> with these lights around here, they got to eat fast. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to top this with, if I, when I'm home, I use real whipped cream. But today, for traveling purposes, I use cool whip, which is wonderful. Yeah, on this because fine. as you dig down in there, um, you, it, you can taste everything. All right, and then to top this, let's have the flour. Okay. We um, are going to put our flour in here, and this is a Gerber daisy, so it's fine. It is non poisonous. Okay. And then let's put our dirt around it. Now, if you That's were. Save chocolate, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. If you were watching me, I did not add any more uh, rum to the cake just because I'm telling you, this ice cream uh, with that rum, it is, it is so delicious. I bet it is. In fact, the cop followed me all the way to work, this, all the way here this morning, and I thought, if he smells my breath licking this rum spoon this morning, <laughs> I'll oh, be, be in trouble. In huh? trouble. <laughs> all right, Meryl, that's. That's it. Okay. And this recipe will make eight. And you, I, we use the Gerber daisies, but you can use any flour of your choice. I just think that's beautiful. And you leave it in the in the freezer till you're leave ready it in to serve. Don't put and the flour put the, in it though. Right. Of course. <laughs> we'll put the flour in later. I want you to see this beautiful display too. We have a lovely uh, picture there uh, that was created by David Nichols. It's called the Grand Room, and this is to help promote a big event that you are the honorary chairperson of, Arts, along with George Clark. Arts and Flowers. It's our fifth uh, year, and I'm so proud to be a part of it because the musicians work so hard and give of their time mm -hmm. uh, several times a year and the proceeds at the door will go to a charity. That's wonderful. What's neat about this is that artists uh, have their paintings on display and then floral designers will create a beautiful arrangement to go along with it and it's just a, a beautiful scene to see. And as Meryl, you were one of our judges last year, it's really hard to make a decision because uh, floral designers are so imaginative with, with, these, with the artist and not only do you see wonderful art and flowers but you eat great food. And that's sure what do. makes me excited because these delicious caterers and restaurants will be there to serve you. Well, thank you so much thank for uh, being the chair for that and for sharing this recipe with us. This is recipe number 5200. It's online now in the Talk of the Town recipe section at newschannel5.com. Don't miss Arts and Flowers Saturday, next Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. at the W.O. Smith School of Music. Tickets and more information are online at aliasmusic.org. Now let's head out to Tawanda.